Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown, and we're going to be going over some photos for the Red Dawn episode, episode 21. This is the penultimate episode, so we've only got two episodes left of Season 4. Very, very excited for this, and to be talking about this trailer, because it is an amazing trailer. I loved it, and so... If you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So we're going to be breaking down the trailer. It came out yesterday. I didn't have time to make it yesterday, but we're bringing it out today and they also released some photos. So I guess it's kind of good timing that I can do both in one video. Alright, so the first shot of the trailer, we see Lena and Lena is with Alex and she reveals to Alex that... Lex has a clone of Supergirl, her name is Red Daughter. So that revelation is going to be new to Alex, she hasn't found out yet. Obviously she knows about the attack, she believes that it's not Supergirl and so I don't think there's going to be any big reaction, I think Alex is just going to go with it, she definitely believes Lena. And so moving on to the next shot, probably one of the best shots of the trailer. We see Red Daughter, she's in the air, she's flying in her old suit, in her sort of tracksuit, training suit, that's what I would describe it as. And this is definitely a new shot, I do not recognize this, so maybe she's back in Kaznia, and maybe this is going to be earlier on in the episode. Then she goes on, she wears the suit, well the new suit that Lex gave her later in the episode, as you will see in the trailer once we get to it. So, let's move on to the next shot, we see Kara and Kara is actually looking at what looks like to be the other version of herself and that being Red Daughter as you can see in this shot and she's got her wig on, she's got a gun, she's undercover and she says in the trailer, in the dialogue, she says I'm supposed to kill you, you know and I definitely think that she's actually talking to Kara, to our version of Kara because you see what Kara's sitting on it looks kind of ornate, very similar to the beds, the design's very similar, but can I just mention how freaking cool does Melissa look? How terrifying and menacing does she look as this sort of, like, sort of more gothic version of Kara? And obviously we've theorised that maybe she'll turn into Linda Lee because, you know, Linda Lee was the first Supergirl. She looks a little bit like this and it's definitely a homage to Linda Lee, so we'll have to wait and see, but it seems like Kara maybe dying to Supergirl or you know she's supposed to kill her so maybe this happens in the episode but we'll have to wait and see all right so let's move on to the next shot and so we go into sort of like the final battle in the episode and this is the battle teased in the synopsis between Supergirl and Red Daughter I think this is going to be maybe the like the second confrontation I reckon they'll meet first in that first shot that we talked about inside the hotel room or wherever she is she has the gun and everything obviously she doesn't need the gun but it's all part of the suit and so we see Kara and Kara is talking to Red Daughter and she says we have the same powers and you see her in this shot she's outside the in the woods you see this amazing shot of Red Daughter she's wearing her new suit but notably, she's got the helmet on, and I think the only reason for the helmet may be to do with kryptonite, but more so to do with behind the scenes. What's easier is that, obviously, they don't have Melissa shooting both scenes, they don't have a stunt double, you know, so they don't have to CGI everything in, and it's a bit easier, but I would prefer it if she didn't have a helmet. I know the helmet's not going to be on all episode, but it seems a bit of a cop-out if they use the helmet all the time. I, obviously there's going to be some sort of reason to do a kryptonite or something because that's what they explained earlier in the season but yeah I would prefer if it was Melissa on Melissa without the helmet knowing there's a stunt double behind it personally and I think a lot of you would agree with me and so we see Kara in this next shot as Supergirl she faces off and it's just a very nice shot like short reverse shot and so we see this sign on the side so it seems like they are maybe in a suburban or like a rural part of national city so maybe in the suburbs and again you see red daughter and she's in her suit she's got the helmet on and she's about to fight supergirl and you see another shot of supergirl so it's a lot of shot reverse shot going back and forth between them and their confrontation that's going to be happening that 
I've said this many times, I just can't wait for this, like finally, I don't need Agent Liberty, all I need is Red Daughter and that's all we need by this point. So we get the shot, the camera goes down and we see Supergirl clenching her fists and she's about to throw hands and beat her up and we see Red Daughter as she sort of charges but towards Supergirl in the forest and at this point we see the reaction shot of Melissa playing Supergirl and Red Daughter is saying and yet you fly around in a cheerleader skirt and so this is in response to her saying we have the same powers so that is a massive scrape towards Supergirl and I think she's going to take offense to this, but it's a really great line, I really, really do like it, and the final shot of the trailer is amazing. We see Supergirl fighting Red Daughter as Red Daughter gets slammed th using Supergirl's heat vision, and she's getting thrown back. So, wow, I'm so excited for this fight. Let me know if you are in the comments down below. Alright, so let's move on and talk about some of these photos that was released for episode 21. So. There's going to be sort of various parts of the episode, obviously the main part is to do with Red Daughter and that's what we're looking for because it's been quite a while honestly since we've seen her, like at least two or three episodes and we've only got two episodes left so I'm still wondering if they bring her back next season or you know they waste her in these last few episodes so we'll have to wait and see but maybe they wrap it up and it's all really good because she's been great so far, she just has barely turned up that's it and so like it says in the synopsis we have Lily and Luther turning up to help to find a way to extract the Haranel that's going to be to do with James and Lena that's their part of the story and Alex realizes she's missing part of her memories and so she's going to get some sort of help I'm not sure from who and then Brainy, Nia and Jean try and track down the aliens who have been abducted and so we go to the first photo and we see Nia and Brainy, and I'm guessing Jean is somewhere around here, but this is entering some sort of base, and this is maybe potentially what they were talking about in the synopsis in terms of where these abducted aliens are. Maybe they're inside there, I have no idea, but let's move on to the next photo. So you see Nia in handcuffs and Ben Lockwood's there, so maybe it all links back to Ben Lockwood but it doesn't seem like he's too angry, so maybe they've got some sort of deal. I don't know. I don't think they'll have a deal because, you know, Ben Lockwood doesn't deal with aliens. But let's move on to the next shot. We see Kara and Jean at the table. Jean looks very sad. Kara looks maybe even sadder, so I have no idea what's going on here, but I'm very intrigued to do with this scene. We see this other shot, and what's on the table is kind of strange, but we see Kara's glasses. You see some scissors. I don't know what, what is going on right here, but we'll have to wait till the episode. I really have no idea. I'm sorry about that. And we go back to Red Daughter. And so Red Daughter is in her Linda Lee homage costume. And she's obviously wearing the wig. She's got the choker on. She's got the black clothing. And she is ready to kill Kara, it seems like. So she's very confrontational. And once again, just emphasizing how badass she looks in this costume and you know the danger essentially of her it really reminds me of a femme fatale from you know film noirs and lots of different films in in the past so i really do like that sort of style that they're going for because it's very menacing and she's got the gun she's you know cocking it or something and she's about to maybe interrogate it looks like or potentially try and kill her i'm not sure if they're like kryptonite bullets or something but they ain't gonna kill Supergirl. All right, so the next shot is of Red Daughter once again. She's looking at the ground. She's got a face of extreme focus, it looks like. So something is on the ground. Maybe she's torturing Supergirl or something and beating her up or whatever. And moving on to the next photo, Ben Lockwood and Lena meet. So I'm guessing this is something to do with what Lena's been doing with the horror now in this episode. She's going to be testing or it's going to be Lena revealing that Alex is, you know, pulling all his strings and that essentially Red Daughter's going to be coming and Lex is working with them. So maybe Ben Lockwood turns against Lex or whatever, even though Ben Lockwood doesn't know Lex in real life. All right, so moving on to the next photo. So in these next couple of photos, we see James and Lena, but also Lillian Luther. So she's out of prison somehow. 
and she's working to extract the Haranel out of Jane's and it seems like they're trying to do that in order to stop Supergirl a bit like how they stopped Rain last season I think that's a bit similar to what they're gonna do obviously split the inner personality between Supergirl and Red Daughter in this case and I think this may serve as a way to stop um, Agent Liberty as well because you know he injected himself last episode and he's still got those powers alright so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications and share this video because we're going into the summer I know less and less people are going to start watching so it would mean a lot if you can actually share the videos around and that would be amazing so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye